Today, guys, we're going to talk about one of my favorite pastimes as a fisherman. I like tracking down old high-speed reels that have been neglected. Mostly, I track down ones that's still in the box, like on the coast. A lot of times, when the hurricanes hit, some of these reels are still in the box, and you can get them on eBay pretty cheap. All right. I got this old Daoa 47H. It's still in the box. You can tell it's been wet. Um, but I paid $25 for this reel. It still has the tag on it for when they display them in the display. But as you can see, where it's set in the box, it is really corroded. Um, it still has the manual with it. It still has the hardware to put it on a surf rod. It still has the factory real oil in it. But, I like these old high speed reels. They're cheap. With the right line and the right rod, you can clear 60, 80 yards, sometimes 100 yards from the bank. Depending on what kind of rod and what kind of weight you're throwing. But today, we're going to take this reel apart, clean it, inspect how good the grease is and the oil on the inside, and put it back together, put some line on it, and see how it reels and everything. Plus, I want to talk about some issues when you're buying used reels, if you can actually touch them later on after we get this together. Well, Let's take this thing apart, and I'll show you the insides of it. But here's some pictures up close of what it looked like when I took it out of the box. Close-up pictures of how corroded and everything it is. Well, guys, it's just as I suspected. Where this reel sat on the shelf and didn't get used, all the old oil has turned brown and it's it looks really bad. I mean it it's black in there. We're gonna clean this and see how the bearings and stuff react to being cleaned. But, it's a little stiff reeling. Um, I guess from where all that oil's clogged up and stuff, but we're gonna, we're gonna clean it, and then I'll show you how it performs. You can see right there, it's, it's really just gel, it ain't even oil anymore. But, here's some close-up pictures of what it looks like. And then, we'll do some cleaning on it. We'll get it back together. And I'll show you what it looks like cleaned up. So, after about... 20 minutes of cleaning and everything. The real look like this. Alright, here's what it looks like back together. 
insides got that spool clean got some new line on it and it it reels so much better now as you can see the line comes out really easy these older high speed reels i love them because they don't backlash as bad i got a 27 like this and i sling the heck out of it and as long as you got them set right they they'll sling as far as you need them to but the other topic that i was want to talk about when you're looking at older reels sorry i had to set some alcohol on fire where i had my ashtray where i was cleaning the reel when you're looking at older reels the thing you want to look at is if that drag is pretty good then you shouldn't be able to pull it out while it's all the way down but that really ain't an issue anymore because you can order new drag washers or however you want to do it upgrade them and bearings ain't really an issue anymore but if you hold that drag and you reel it down you hear something clicking in there or anything these older reels are harder to get parts for because everybody wants to hold on to the parts herself a couple of things else i look at is the worm gears get wore out really easy in these older reels but if you're catfishing i fish with nothing but a conventional salt reel because if it can handle salt it can handle anything in fresh water if you got the right line that you could probably get catch a good sturgeon up in washington state or somewhere close to there some in 14 16 footers but i'm happy with this reel i give 25 dollars for it it took about 25 minutes of cleaning and here in a minute we're gonna go outside and i'm going to cast a little bit to see how far i can sling it without hitting the neighbor's camper or anything i don't don't want to pay for anything but i will see you outside we'll see how far this reel goes all right guys we're outside and all this line is is 40 pound offshore angler from bass pro shop it's cheap line and i got a one ounce sinker on what we're going to do uh clean this dioa sea line 47h we're going to see if we can get some distance on it the only rod i've got that i'm using is a cheap rod from bass pro shop a 12 foot cat buster but we're going to see how far we can sling this one ounce weight to test see how good this dioa cast after we cleaned it and everything set this rod over here at the fence where we're even with the fence posts and we're going to walk it and see how far we got as you can see the fence posts are right there so let's see how far we are out right here.
pretty good distance for a one ounce weight. Now, if you had about three ounces on there and was throwing some bait, we ain't that here yet. That's from the fish pole right there. Uh, right here. Views from the bank. That is a pretty good distance. But that's with one ounce weight. One ounce of weight. With that Dawa Sea Line. 47H after I cleaned it still has the original bearings and everything in it so let's go inside and let's discuss how this thing what this thing looks like and how it I think it performs being an older reel all right guys we just got in from a Testing the cast of the Daiwa Sea Line 47H. I found this reel about 25 bucks. Took it apart, tried to get most of the old oil out of it, and put new oil in it. A little bit of new grease. I didn't over grease it. That that's a bad thing if you over grease a reel. But put a one ounce sinker on. And Put it on a 12 foot cat buster, which is not the best 12 foot rod, but I'm going to have one later on. But it still threw a one ounce sinker, I'd say 50, about 50 yards. But if you want distance, dial was a hard to beat, the older ones. Um, you can get them, like I said, anywhere from. I've seen them go for $14 to $26 to up to $50 on eBay. Sometimes it just depends on who's bidding on them. Sometimes I think somebody is there. Sometimes I have a friend just bidding it up. That's why I usually just buy straight out on eBay. Well, if you're a bank fisherman... I hope this helps you on a cheap, efficient reel. You may have to put a little bit of time cleaning it. You may have to grease some bearings and take all the old grease out, but these reels are well worth it if you're casting distance from the bank. Not that expensive. That was with 40 pound test line. If you get premium line like uh The Andy Monster line or something like that. You could probably cast a lot farther. But this was just a preview of the cheapest line I had. A cheap rod. And it, it seemed to cover some distance. Well. This is Hack the Fish. With another video. And I'm out.